The way we put this shit together, you know what I mean? Welcome back here to LJ Reactions, man. It's early in the morning again, man. Whew. Whew. Uh, again, thank you for, for all you guys who came out to the stream last night. New subs. I mean, thank you guys for coming out, man. Um, Crazy last night. Crazy day overall. Again, I had to watch Super Showdown at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Then I had to go to work. And then we had to fight last night. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy day. So the review for Super Showdown, if you guys are wrestling fans on the channel, the review is up. I'm also live reactions to Khabib versus McGregor fight. Up on the channel, um, right off the bat, people. A lot of people are saying that um, Khabib should be banned from UFC from what he did last night. Right off the bat, it's not like you remember if you guys remember the Ronald Test incident where he went to the stands and fought a fan. Even though I don't condone it, and I'm sure Dana White's not happy about what happened either, man. But Khabib went after a member of Conor McGregor's team, not like a personal fan. So that should lessen some of the punishment. Again, this incident started with Conor McGregor. Throwing a dolly at a bus, too, okay? So, they had bad blood since then before, too. So, worst case is what they, 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 I mean, it's not going to be Dana White who's going to do it. It's going to be the um, Las Vegas Athletic Commission, what they're going to do with it. Worst case is what should happen. Come Gregor will probably get another fine or something like that. He'll probably get, like, a small little fine or whatever. Um, Khabib, worst case, I'm already, I feel he's probably going to get suspended maybe six months. Six months is probably the best that he might be looking at right now. It's a six-month suspension. Worst case, Dana White will probably have another interim, another interim fight, which you probably do McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's worst case. I mean, that's not a bad thing to see. Again, uh, Tony Ferguson, after he fought last night, him versus McGregor, that would be a pretty good fight. Worst case, is I'm probably, probably going to happen for Khabib. He'll probably get suspended six months, or worst case, he'll probably get suspended three months in the fight. Because right now, I mean, McGregor versus Khabib, too. That's already printed money already right now. That's already ready to be signed, so and delivered. <laughs> McGregor versus K Khabib, too. But that's what I probably fear. Worst case, if I get a six-month suspension, McGregor might get a fine. Or oh, McGregor might not get nothing at all because he didn't do nothing last night. So, But let's go ahead and check out um, Dana White, some reaction to the fight. It's going to be also Dana White, um, Stephen A. Smith, and also Khabib's going to be talking to. So let's go ahead and check it out, people. One of the grossest scenes that I've ever seen covering the sport. And Stephen A, you were down there. Did you witness what happened? Well, what happened was that after he got Conor McGregor to submit, yep. he literally said something small to Conor, like, you know, I can't even repeat what he was saying. And <laughs> after that, he walked to the other side of the ring, took out his mouthpiece, and threw something at a member of Conor McGregor's team. That's how it appeared as I was sitting near ringside. And so, uh, obviously, there was a lot of animosity that was built. Yeah, they don't like each other, man. So, um, was that shocked? Not really. Again, you talk about the man's family, religion, and um, stuff like that. For 18 years, and uh, um, the biggest night ever, and I couldn't be more disappointed. You yeah. Know? You know me, I'm usually mad at everything. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm just really disappointed. First of all, I want to say sorry to Athletic Commission. Yeah, better start pausing, Khabib. To Vegas. I know this is not my best side. You know, nope. This is not my best side. You know, I'm human being, and... Uh, like, I don't understand how people can talk about I jump on the cage, you know. What about, he talk my, about my religion. Yeah. He talk about my country. Yeah. He talk about my father. Yeah. He come to Brooklyn and he broke bus. Yeah. He almost killed a couple people. Yeah. What about this? What about this? That's Why true. It's true. That's all facts. I jump over the cage. Why people still talk about this? <laughs> it's like, freak. Oh, understand. Khabib, come on. It just happened just now, my man. I'll, well, I'll that's true. McGregor did do those things, too. Always respectful. One of Khabib's entourage was lighting Conor McGregor's body up. Conor was exhausted. That was inappropriate. I yeah. don't know what said. And, guys, I don't give a damn what was said. It's what is done physically. This is the fight business. It is under unified rules. You don't yeah. have a license. You operate in the ring. You bring up Nashville, Ariel. Oh, yeah. Nobody left the ring. Right. Even the ring's a different oh, story. Yeah. The board, as you mentioned, has had to work very hard to get to the point where that's true, man. Again, I mean, should they have more security? I mean, if I was Dana White, I mean, this was your biggest fight in your company's history. You know they don't like each other. I mean, I would have had, like, everybody would have been out there security. Yeah, he said he's going to choke that man out. He did. He said, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to get him to the mat. I'm going to wear him down. I'm going to haul him. I'm going to beat him up. He did everything he said he was going to do. Yeah, he did. Again, true. We're not even talking about could be beating McGregor. We're talking about the aftermath, which is kind of crazy. In that particular round, but after the fight was over, he definitely conducted himself in a 
slash listen to action, and I don't think there's any excuse. Man. They need to be professional, guys. We're trying to change this stuff up. Tony Ferguson, no future BS. champion. Shouldn't have happened. Okay, future smart. interim champion the victory, again. <laughs> got the belt, walked away like a professional. Instead, he acted like like an animal. I'll be straight out with you. He acted like an animal, and he had to be escorted out there. Embarrassed yeah, Dana, embarrassed the UFC, mm-hmm. embarrassed this sport. We're trying to take this stuff into the Olympic level, and that is not how you do that. Nope. You know, oh, Reyes, we had a pretty We're decent not, fight. But actually, it was a pretty decent ball. fight, but he did, that fight was boring as hell, though. But he did a good job. This is the, this is the biggest stage in sport. You, you need to have security to prevent these things. I mean, That's true. It should have been more security. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. I agree with Reyes, too. It's been a lot, lot more security because they don't – this is a – legitimately, this is like the first people – I would say even the John Jones versus DC type of – and the Mossy is not well, even close to Khabib versus McGregor. Like, they literally hate each other, man. Like – Imagine like if you had nowhere else to sit on the bus, and they had his, and it was like a seat next to Khabib, and McGregor had to like sit down. There was no seat on the bus. That's when you'd be standing, man. When that that thing was crazy, it just yeah. Tyson versus Holyfield fight was kind of crazy. Yeah, just seemed like it wouldn't stop. And uh, when it started, that's all I had visions of that because I was there. Yeah, it could have got a lot worse. Scary, and. uh they did a great job of containing it because usually that stuff spreads like a wildfire. So props to them and thanks to them. I covered the NBA. I've been covering the NBA for 25 years. And when Ron Artest jumped into the stands and went into the stands against the fan, Metta World Pieces, he's, uh, he's known fe- affectionately now, believe it or not. The commissioner at the time, David Stern, had a press conference. He had announced that he was suspending – Ron Artest for 73 games. Damn, I forgot. That's how long it was. Season. Damn. And the media asked him, did you put it to a vote? And the commissioner said, yes, it was unanimous. One to zero. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, but again, the suspension for Khabib will be um, laid down by the else. athletic commission, this not really by Dana White. You, you know what I'm saying? I just think he's probably going to get three to maybe six kind of months. One of the, the one of the three is going to get three or six months suspension. Anyways, minimum shots. minimum it's a three month McGregor minimum. You can't fight for two months after UFC, right? It's two months. So he might get six months suspension because you're you're imagining getting two months of no fight automatically. So it might be a six month suspension, then people. 100 certain that Khabib will not be stripped of the title after what happened tonight. No, it's not 100. percent Khabib has. The, the thing is, we're regulated by the Nevada State See, Athletic Commission. See, Dan, why is going to say it right now? Whatever state we're in, right? The Nevada State Athletic Commission is going to go after yep. him, I'm sure, pretty hard. Yep. You know, he doesn't have to worry about me right now. He has to worry about Nevada. The governor was here tonight. <laughs> the governor went running out of the building. That's not a good That's look. not good. No. The governor running out of the building isn't good. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for waiting for me here. I know my, my father going to smash when I go home because <laughs> I know he's going to smash me. Your dad going to smash you. Um, then again, yeah, guys, I mean, he on Mackie can't fight for two months anyways due to the UFC regulations. I guess six months is what he's going to be looking at. But again, what I even, again, like McGregor is not even pressing charges because I did find out too that McGregor and his team's not pressing charges against Khabib because they know they really don't like each other. So if McGregor's team's not going to be pressing charges, I mean... I guess, man, just find the man then. Shoot. If he didn't, if he could be been not hurt, if you get the report saying that he didn't hurt nobody, no other, no fans out in the arena, it was just McGregor's person that he got a hold of, that's it, just find him. I mean, just find him. I would just find him and then up your damn security when they fight again for the second time. Let's do that. So don't forget to like the video, guys. Comment down below. Subscribe. Catch you guys back later for some more videos. Put this shit together, you know what I mean?